Hey everybody, how's it going? Demex Bones here. I'm here to bring you actually something completely different and really spur of the moment. Um, this is Armageddon, as you can tell from the very neatly designed title for what this game is. Um, this is basically a steampunky third person shooter thingy. Um, it's basically you're controlling a mech and I'm guessing from what I played it's, I want to say, robo-nazis. Robot Nazis, I'm guessing. I really couldn't tell. I'm probably wrong. Then again, my volume turned down, so I really couldn't hear the voices. I had it turned up earlier, and the voice acting was actually really good. This game is um, um, indie, and I believe just recently was put out on Indiegogo. Um, for now, we're not going to do tutorial. Uh, tutorial is just really simple. And I will shut up now for the cutscene. Indeed. Now then. To business. Time is of the essence, so I will make this brief. As you are no doubt aware, our dear Workland's rise to power has ruffled some of our neighbors' feathers. Namely, those dour old sourpusses in Schwarzfeld. And when Schwarzfeld's feathers are ruffled, they invade people. Precisely. They've been uncharacteristically timid thanks to all of us here in the Iron Division. But our mechanized armor can only intimidate them for so long. If we dally further, they will strike first, with a super weapon of their own in tow. With respect, sir, I can handle super weapons. <laughs> yes, Commodore, I have no doubt that you can. Which is precisely why we are sending you to make the first strike. We'll be dropping you into the heart of the Schwarzfeld capital via airship. Once you make landfall, your objectives will be to cripple the production of both the traditional automaton army and their new super weapon. As such, your targets are as follows. The capital's primary automaton factory, a research yard where we suspect they have housed stolen Welkland technology, and this fine gentleman, one Lieutenant Hans Fiedler. That's their super weapon. Looks like a mechanized armor suit, but so sadly primitive. Don't underestimate it, Commodore. Mr. Fiedler and his suit were the only surviving participants of Schwarzfeld's attempts to replicate our Iron Division. He's a bit touched in the head, but he is an elite soldier. What do you mean by only surviving participants? Why would mechanized armor research kill the test subjects? That's the mystery, Commodore, and why Mr. Fiedler is such a high-priority target. Even Schwarzfeld wouldn't sacrifice its top soldiers for nothing. So if you happen to encounter Mr. Fiedler... I would eliminate him on sight. Indeed. Well, that just about covers it. Are you prepared, Commodore? Always, sir. All right, as you can see, basically it's well, not basically. You can easily tell that it's very steampunky, and I'm going to make that a word. I will put a gun to the person who writes dictionary words, just like put steampunky in there. Either way, um, this game is actually really fun. I played through it once. It's actually very short. I was surprised. I thought it was gonna have multiple levels. This is it only has this one level, course. which I have no Search problem with that, but um, there's plenty of things to do like, with this one level alone. Um, I thought there was going to be multiplayer in it, which isn't, so no call for me, or well, Team Death, that would be awesome, Team Death. Um, when they're done talking, I'll actually go over the gameplay of it, but it's actually very fun, and let's see, basically you have your guns, uh, boop. Boop, 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 boop. See, you can shoot people. Big surprise for a third person, full well, shooter. But um, one thing is, there's no ammo, which is a godsend, in my opinion, at least. God, I hated. Well, 99% of shooters have ammo, so I mean, I really can't complain when it's the norm. But this one doesn't, which is actually really much very good. But, as you can see, my mech looks really awesome. Something that looks like it's from Warhammer, really. Like, steampunk Warhammer. But, going into this, um, you can switch weapons. Um, you can do it while walking around. It's just, I don't know what it is about the game. Or, my controller just does not like changing it on there. I think it might be my controller. But, I really am not going to put blame on this game. It's indie, so I mean, it, you can't expect it to be perfect. But, it's just darn near close to it. Um, you can switch it. Um, I'm going to keep with the Dauntless gun from what I've learned. It's actually very well-rounded and easy to use. 
Uh, let's see, I will change this though. I will use the turret because that is actually a very fun thing to use. And there is a lot of things you can do. There's really unique methods to how you destroy these things. Really, it, from what I've seen, how it comes down to, it shouldn't really matter how you kill them as long as you hit them. Really, I don't think they complain on much how you kill something in this game, which is actually really fun. You don't have to worry about specifics, and it's really just go in senseless robot violence. They provide somewhat of a challenge. Um, whenever they just gang up on you and you have to, oh, I wouldn't say you have to watch your health, but it's something you might want to look out at just constantly because. These little things, health, aren't always around. They don't all drop these. I'm gonna use my turret right there. Cuz... Yeah, you just gotta look out for them. But... Let's see... I know how I said they don't just fall out of the sky, but I'm picking them up like they're candy at Willy Wonka's factory. And... <laughs> the game is making me a liar here. Like, oh, it doesn't seem that hard. This guy's a noob. Oh god, I just lost subscribers. Anyway! <laughs> Um, but yeah, this game's actually very fun. I enjoy it much. Um, they have two modes. Play. Well, that's what the menu says. It's called play. Um, and that's just what this is. Their quote-unquote story mode. And yeah, for what it's worth, it's actually really good. Like, the story's decent for a level. Um, I wish they had a couple more, because I sort of wanted more from this. Like, I really just can't help but want more to see how this like the fights are amazing whenever they demand that you fight something it's like okay and a bunch of this really doesn't feel like a chore because there's no like we're gonna keep you locked in this one little spot of the level until you destroy every single thing moving there's none of that you can either just run by them or just you know, destroy them if you want. Like, I can go fight a few of these guys, but oh no, I left one of the flying ones going. That doesn't mean I don't keep going. Approaching the research yard. Can you see? All I gotta do is just go there. Um, last time I played this, I only played, this is the second time me playing this, so it'll go by a lot smoother. But. I believe we gotta defend this, this thing, and I hate defending things, but when it came to this, it really didn't feel like much of a chore, it didn't feel like, oh god, why do I gotta do this? I was a little worried because how I play, um, I sort of suck sometimes, and especially when it comes to an objective that means continuing playing the game or game over, a lot of the times it normally ends up I have ADHD, sort of. Like, when it comes to playing video games, I have an ADHD type game style. Like, I'll be like, yeah, objective, and then I'll see a penny, and then lose my mind, and then go play that. Oh, I forgot to show off the, um, the button actions. Yeah, he has, a, like, a sword. It's actually really cool. He has a sword, um, a super punch. He punches people. Or she. This is a she. I keep forgetting that. Um, but yeah, this is actually very, very... Um, good gameplay for what it is. Um, I would say shooter, definitely. Oh, I forgot to do supers. There we go! Oh, jeez. But yeah, depending on what you use, because I believe each thing has its own little, like, super. Like, they're all little super move. Like, I just did the sword one. Here's the punch one. I had to keep track of which ones were which. Don't judge. <laughs> but yeah, each thing has their own little uniqueness. And here's the punch one, and it has his own thing. Oh god, he flew. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, hello frame rates. Frame rates, why you do this? Be nice, frames. I did nothing to you. I'm trying to clear you out. Oh, jeez. Um, really, the frame rate issue really only happens in this one level. I've only faced it right here. There really wasn't the issue of it anywhere else. Like, really, I've not found any problems with this game. Like, other than if it was, like, someone else's opinion, like, oh, I don't like this type of gameplay. I'm going to complain about this. Other than that, like, mechanically-wise, there's nothing wrong with it. 
it seems really good for what it is. And it just owned everything. It was an EMP, EMP, whatever you want to call it. I can't read. Uh, <laughs> either way. All right, and then there's this, this big thing. Okay. Hurry up. Quit talking, mustache man. I know you're important to the plot, but come on now. But they also have this. This is the closest thing to what I was talking about that I really didn't like, but in this case it's sort of understandable. Where they'll sort of lock you in a room and make you fight like tougher versions of like the enemies you've been fighting. Which is a good thing. It's not like a constant thing like you're gonna stay here, fight all these things. It's like I hate those ones where it's like you're gonna do this. It's sort of like eat all your vegetables or no dessert. And dessert is continuing on with the story. That's what I can say this is. Oh, wait, no. No. I'm going to try the game breaker. Game breaker! I think, yeah, this was... This was actually the only one other issue with it, I believe. Like, I guess you would say these are mini-bosses, but they're actually really easy. But that's not the issue. The one issue was um, how when you defeat the guys, there's, the door's supposed to open. Last time I played, I used the spinny sword thing, the super version of it, and I think I accidentally knocked them all out of the area. So I couldn't kill them. I couldn't find them. So it was just there. And then, then it finally registered, hey, they're dead. So then, like, oops. <laughs> whoopsie daisy. So yeah, I mean, other than that, really, there was no issue. Like, I was worried, like, oh man, did I break the game? Can I not use supers in this area? That was, like, a real issue. Then it just finally opened when I was like, oh man. Because then I was like, I was slowly thinking of finding ways to kill myself. But then I was like, no, I got this. Game, work, and it did. And I was like, wow. But, in the end, it really, this game, is actually really good. I know I keep saying that, but I cannot emphasize how, like, good this game is. Like, there's really no justice I can give it that it already doesn't do for itself. This game is great for indie. When you, whenever you're just bored, you want to run through it, and if you beat the this part of it, like the story plot thing, then go do Arena. It's really fun. It's just um, wave after wave. It's wave-based. I wish in there at least you can do a little multiplayer or something like that and like compete like oh he killed more than you something like that but there really isn't any of that there I mean that's just it's not really something to shun the game for that's just a feature I want and probably if someone else were to play maybe they want it too I don't know maybe that doesn't even cross their minds when they think it's like, I need health that's what's crossing my mind right now. Need health. Because all I've been doing is just complaining about what I want. My needs. And yeah, I really gotta stop doing that. I sound very needy. My needs. Either way. Oh jeez, I think this is actually a boss thing. Yep, it's a boss. Yeah, well not boss. Mini boss. Sub objective. See, I accidentally may have killed them. See, snipe! Snipe! What if I could try 360 no scoping? I started when um I first played this, like in the tutorial. I tried with um, the controller. It was so sensitive, like my goodness. Like razor sensitivity has nothing on the sensitivity that this was set on I was just like whoa there but thank god that unlike a lot of indie games I've seen their options come through and I can actually change the sensitivity and stuff like that I really didn't have much of a problem with it I just changed it because there are some indie games where they just don't have the option to you know just change it up like it's like no these are the settings that we liked and we wanted to, to, for people to play with. What? The camera screen moves too fast and you're getting motion sickness? 
What? You have you hate motion blur because you do get motion sickness? That's too bad. You already bought it on Steam. I guess that's actually one issue with um games. <laughs> if you get them on Steam, you can't really get them back. I believe there actually is. If you go to complain to customer support, you could. Oh wait, I think this is boss. Yep, it's the boss, and he looks like. If, like, Jesus had a mech, or, like, War Machine was, like, buffed out in steampunk, like, you went to one of those inventions. Who knew Rody liked it? Either way. Come on. Get with the cutscene. Yes, we know. She's awesome. She's cool. My kill count is way lower than last time I played, because I sort of just, like, running through it. Um, but yeah, it's actually really easy. This is, I believe, the boss of the game um oh oh whoa 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 sir sir ow okay I jumped I literally jumped into that one <gasps> took off part of his thing whoa Okay, whoop, I think I broke it. <laughs> he either broke it or I broke it. I wouldn't put it past me that I probably broke it. Whoopsie daisies. Oh, jeez. Ow, I'm running through the fire. Okay, that was supposed to do super, but okay, I guess not. There we go. Can I get some health, please? This is what I was talking about. They will not help you. This was the case where I was like, wow. Yeah, I died. I didn't die the last time. Oh, jeez. But yeah, the boss is difficult in its own sense. Mainly it just comes down to health con like conserving. If you're conservative with your health and you know how to, you know, avoid his attacks, then you're fine. Did I skip a boss? What? I think I might have skipped the boss on accident. Maybe I'm not sure. Did I? I did. I did. Oh my god. Okay. These aren't game breakers. Oh, kind of. Oh man. I, whoops. I may have broke it there. Whoa. What was that? Come over here. Boop. Okay, that does nothing. What? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> Like how all these problems want to come up now. Oh my god. I probably should have kept one of those things alive. Oh my god. See, I gave this game so much praise and then once <laughs> Then the boss doesn't even want to work. It's still fun though. I can't be mad at it. It's like a puppy. A pissed on your rug. It's like... It's like you're mad because it's your rug, but then the puppy like just rolls up against your feet, and then it's like, oh, oh my god! I think uh, there's no restart to checkpoint either, which I mean isn't really killer, but I mean, oh my god! Let's see on the list of what I just broke, because this is my fault. I'm gonna blame it on me. <laughs> oh my god! I, I broke it. 
Um, let's see. I skipped the boss, technically. I died and the skip went on ahead. <laughs> let's see. Wait, can I... Can I do this? Maybe he'll come back if I, like, do the same move. Like, maybe I punched him into another dimension. I, I, it's not gonna open. This was the thing I was talking about. Okay, this might have been exactly the same case where it's like, I did a super move. The boss slash big mini boss disappears and then it's just like, whoops. This is my punishment for skipping the boss, I guess. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It was just, I, I was confused and I didn't look and then I went through and then it was just like, oh. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even have anything to kill me with. <clears throat> Hang on, can I try getting a cannon? That's a face melt. There we go. Alright. See. Nope, can't blow myself up. Suicide is not an option here. Thing it never is. But you know what I mean. Oh my god, I broke the game. And with only six kills! Oh jeez. Alright. Well, I guess in this sense, I'm probably gonna end it here. Um, the game pretty much continues with another boss of the same guy. Then you destroy him, blow him up, he dies. Game over. And pretty much that end. Um, it's still good. I still say you should try it out. Because it's still fun. If you definitely like this type of game, like, you don't even have to like steampunk. I'm not a huge fan of steampunk. I think it's a little bland, because it's really, really brown. And that's really the main color I see a lot. And it hurts a lot. Well, not really hurts a lot. It's just like I see this color too often in that type of genre of steampunk. And I'm just like, I get it. Like, I'm heads up, don't expect me to do a let's play on the order whenever that game comes out. But yeah, definitely I'm going to put the developer's website in the description in the Indiegogo page. Um, both have the download link, so wherever you want to go, definitely play it. It's really fun. Um,. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. It's still fun no matter how I broke the game. Just a piece of advice. Don't use supers against boss unless you're about to hit them. But yeah, um, really all I can say is this game was really fun. Um, definitely give it a try. Um, it's free. It's completely free. So no worries there if you're going to break your wallet. But yeah, until next time, um, whether it be an indie game, Batman, or whatever Let's Play I'll be doing then... Um, I'll see you guys next time.